Welcome to the third onboarding video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up agents and groups within the Cloud Talk app. First, we'll take a look at how to add users to your account. Next, I'll introduce how to create and manage groups, which are segmented clusters of agents sorted by your own needs, each focusing on unique tasks. We will go through the basic settings of each feature, but also peek into more advanced ones. Don't worry, it's super intuitive and easy. Now let's start with adding and configuring new users. As a first step, you need to log into your CloudTalk account and click on the Agents category in the left side menu. Then you'll simply click the Add Agents button in the upper right hand corner. Now fill in the first four basic fields. Each has a specific purpose. First and last name is to identify an agent in tools like call history or internal contacts. Email address and password are for logging in, notifications and receiving voicemails. Next, you're going to assign a role for your new user. With each role, you are granting the user with specific permissions. Most often, managers want to add a new agent. And if this is your case, choose agent as the category. A user in this role can make phone calls, play recordings, view call history, manage contacts and more. Besides the agent category, you can assign three more roles, administrator, analyst, and supervisor. An administrator has permission to manage the whole company and can make phone calls. An analyst can see statistics, play and download recordings of all agents, but can't make phone calls. And a supervisor can do what an analyst does, but this role can also make phone calls, plus can manage contacts and configure the predictive dialer. The steps I mentioned here are just the basics required to set up an agent. There are also more advanced ones like role settings or visibility of calls and recording. You can learn more about them in the article linked next to this video. But for now, let's jump into our next topic, groups. Over the next few minutes, I'll explain how to create and manage them. Groups make your work more organized. And as I mentioned in the introduction, you can assign agents to separate groups, each with a focus on unique tasks. For example, you can have a group for sales, for support, for finance, for complaints, or just about any other department. To access and create groups, navigate to groups in the left side menu. Then simply click on add group in the upper left hand corner. First of all, let's focus just on the basic settings like naming your group. The name will help you see the group in features like statistics or call flow designer. Now it's time to add your agents. In the section assigned agents, click on the add button and choose those agents you want to include in the group. You can add as many of them as you want and easily remove them by checking the corresponding box. Next, you can select from three call strategies for inbound calls, ring all, round robin, and random. It's worth noting that these strategies only apply to agents whose status is online. If they are idle, in call or offline, they will be skipped. If you choose ring all, the call will ring to all available agents in that group until one of them answers. With round robin, the call will ring only to a chosen agent. In case the agent doesn't pick up, CloudTalk will keep transferring it to other agents until someone answers. When using the random strategy, the call simply rings to a random agent. Please note that neither round robin nor random can be used in combination with the mobile app. If you purchased our expert plan or if you are on a trial account, you can also decide which contact tags define a VIP customer for each specific group so that calls from specific customers are prioritized in the queue. We briefly covered contact tags in video one, but to see a more detailed walkthrough, check out the link next to this video. In addition, you can set one of four rules for how the caller enters the queue to avoid long waiting times. Now let's discuss two more basic group functions waiting message and periodic announcements. In group settings, you can choose the waiting music that will accompany the caller while being in the queue. You can use our predefined soundtrack or you can upload your own. Simply go to account, sounds and click on add sound. Keep in mind that you can only upload MP3 files with a size of maximum eight megabytes. Last but not least, let's take a look at periodic announcements. An announcement is what the caller hears while waiting on the line. It can sound like this. Please hold while you are connected to the next available agent. The callers will hear the periodic announcements at regular intervals while waiting in the queue, approximately every 40 to 60 seconds. Thank you for taking the tour with me through adding new users and setting up groups in CloudTalk. And I hope this video was helpful. Next time, we'll talk about acquiring and porting phone numbers. 
I'll also explain how to set up workflows and business hours. See you in the next one.